Indians and the A's in game two of the first ever day-night doubleheader at the Coliseum. Josh Lindblom on the mound recalled from AAA, making just his sixth career start and first with Oakland. It's the nightcap off. Fold rips one to center. Niger Morgan's going back, and that is over his head, all the way to the wall. Full hits the bag at second. Full steam ahead to third. He's in there with a leadoff triple. Don't play me shallow. <laughs> right in front of him, and that's Terry Francona. He's probably maybe five or six years old. Yeah. Line shot, center field. Morgan will play it on a hop. Full will scamper into score. Lowry has an RBI single, and it's one nothing Athletics. Uh, Jen Lowry after Monday night a couple of opportunities similar to and that one is ripped to right field that's it well Murphy spinning around still spinning around it's over his head Lowry's going to score Moss digging for third they're having trouble with it out in the outfield they'll stop Moss at third Cespedes with a booming double and it's two to nothing the A's lead. That way because he has to get it in the hitting zone. Normally he does. Little pop up down the right field line. Reddick coming, Barton coming, and Barton makes a nice over the shoulder catch. Side retired. Be out in the outfield as well. Driven deep left. Sespin is on the move over his head and up out of here. Mike Avilas with a two run homer over the left field wall, and this game is tied at two. That was an absolute line drive missile shot. It hit so hard above those steps. It almost. Hunter runs again, and the pitch is ripped up the middle, a base hit. Run comes in to score, Punto to third, and Sam Fold having a big night, and the A's lead three to two. Totally agree, they're having to throw to first base a couple of times, they're stalling. Felix takes off, swing and a miss, throw down, and he's called out. Don't know if he tagged him. Don't know if he tagged him. Now Felix is asking for Terry Francona to come out. Well, they're going to stall for some time. Here comes Francona. If he tags him, he's out. Couldn't tell from our angle if he tags him, but he didn't get to the bag. He oh, missed him. Not even close. So they can appeal it. Not even close. No, that was a swipe, and he, you see the the ump's on the inside, so he doesn't see that. He assumes he tags him, but Punto didn't. He's going to show him the glove. That'll be a challenge. Well, Greg Langbin. Has to make the call to the dugout. Well, I'm sure it's going to be there. There they go. They've already, they've sure, already communicated they it. They, it. He missed him, and he will be called safe. Right there. And there comes the headset. They will be off, and he is safe. That's an easy call. So give Mike Avilas his first stolen base of the year. And he's in scoring so position with only one out. It is overturned, rightfully so. And Nick Punto with a wry, wry smile saying, gosh, you got me. <laughs> well, I, hey. Brantley off the end of the bat, slowly hit towards third. Yeah, done. That'll get the run home from third. Brantley's out at first, two gone in the inning. And now the go-ahead run, Carlos Santana, into scoring position. Brantley with his first RBI of the year, and we're back to even at three apiece. The stolen base, the walk actually, and then the stolen base pays dividends as Brantley just cues it off the end of the bat. It was a good pitch. It's the A's, and he pitched well. Gave up just three hits and two runs, one of them earned. And that one's drilled. Left center field. Rayburn is under it, and so is the center oh. fielder, Brantley, and they drop it. They dropped it and ended up at second base is Donaldson. Wow. So Rayburn and Brantley came together. They were both under it. And we'll see who got a glove on it. Take advantage of this ribby situation. 3 2 pitch to Moss, and he hits it hard. Short right field, the throw to first, and he dropped it, and the run scores in the A's lead. And that is not surprising because the throw from the 
Jim Johnson on for the save with the bases loaded, facing Michael Brantley, trying to redeem himself. Ground ball, single into right field, tying run scores. Here comes Kipnis with the go and run. Reddick overran it. Tribe takes the lead. Santana stops at third. Oh, baby, what a turn of events here in Oakland. Brantley, who was charged with an error, snapping his errorless streak that allowed Oakland to ultimately take the lead. John Axford warming in the Cleveland bullpen. Murphy drives one to center. Fold will make the catch, tagging at third. Santana's coming home. He'll score easily. And David Murphy delivers with a sack fly. Three runs in here in the ninth, and the Tribe leads it 6-4. to four. Two for two in save situations to start the year. High fly ball, this should do it. David Murphy, he's there. He's got it. And the Indians win the series here in Oakland with a stirring come-from-behind win. Three in the ninth. Axford nails it down with his second save. And the Tribe wins it 6-4 to four here this evening. The Indians improved to 17-5 in their last 22 doubleheader games, and Carlos Santana had two hits and two walks in the win.